G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker. In this video, I wanted to introduce you to our new blue-green algae test kits. These are a rapid test, and what they're testing for is toxins. So the, the, it's a very important uh, difference between testing for algae and testing for toxins. So the important thing with blue-green algae is that not all of it is toxic, and even species that are toxic doesn't necessarily mean that it shed its toxins in the water. So the difference with these kits uh, to traditional lab tests is one, the speed. So these tests, uh, you've got a result in about 15 minutes. But the other main thing is because you're actually testing for toxins, not just for algae, it enables you to determine whether there's toxins in the water which gives you uh, information on which, to make, uh, on which to base your management decisions. So traditionally, if you want to get your blue-green algae test um, done at a lab, it's going to take you a turnaround of about a week to 10 days. It's going to cost you a few hundred bucks and you're going to get a, a lab report that says you've got this species of algae, it may or may not be toxic, but it doesn't actually tell you if there's any toxins in the water. So although it's very useful, it's, it's not actually telling you if there's toxins in the water. So you, don't, you still don't know whether I can use this water or not. Now, if you test the toxins at a lab, that's a, another test, a secondary test. That's also going to take a period of about seven to 10 day turnaround time. And it's also going to cost you several hundreds of dollars. So to get to the point where you want to know whether or not you've got toxins in your water, it's going to take you anywhere from at least a week, possibly two weeks to actually get that information in order for you to make management decisions. Now, those of you that need to um, manage your water, whether it's for irrigation, whether it's for livestock, whether it's for swimming, um, you want to have results way, way faster than that. So these test kits, they're similar to COVID tests. They're a rapid test result. They're testing for toxins. And so what you'll do is you'll take your water sample, you, you'll drip it in there. After about 15 minutes, you're going to get a result. And that's going to tell you, is that water toxic or is it not? If you then want to go and continue lab testing to identify the species of algae to drill down, drill down further, you can do that. But if you're wanting uh, information on which to, ba to base quick decisions, you really can't go past these tests. If you're planning on swimming or you've got the kids swimming, you're a bit, little bit worried about it, it's a good idea to test the water, make sure that the algae that's in the dam isn't toxic. I recently took the kids away for, for an Easter break, um, went up to a, a, a lake, long weekend, um, algae in the water, the whole water was like green pea soup. There were people skiing in the water and I thought, not a great idea, let's check this out. Had a bit of a musty smell, um, was behaving like blue-green algae. But to test that on a Friday afternoon, on Good Friday, um, where no lab's gonna be open, no council work is gonna be open, enabled me to, to give me the confidence to let the kids swim in the water. So very, very good for swimming. If you've got um, livestock and your animals are getting crook and you're not sure if you should allow them to use the water or not, this is going to determine that in about 15 minutes. If you identify that you've got algae in your water just visually or you do this uh, test kit and it says that there's no algae in the water and then you go and treat it, it's a very good idea to treat to test the water again because what can happen with blue-green algae is that even if you do have uh, algae in the water, it is a toxic species, it doesn't mean that the toxins are in the water. But if you go and then hit it with an algicide or a very rapid um, treatment to, to try and get rid of the algae, algae and kill the algae, as part of its defence mechanism, it can actually start shedding its toxins. So you can actually encourage toxins to be put in your water by treating it. So if you're, if you're not sure and the algae's gone, but you're still not sure, should I use the water, should I not use the water, good idea to give it a test to make sure that when you treated that algae or killed that algae, it didn't just dump all the toxins in the water. So these algae tests cover a number of different sectors to give you the confidence to make the management decision that you need to by simply knowing whether there are toxins in the water or not, and you're gonna get that result in 15 minutes. Absolute lifesaver.